Hello, hello. This is Johannes Watri from Hold to Run. Today we will talk about of GDPR consent requirements and we will code the Google SDK to get the consent GDPR consent form from the user. And I will talk about a little how it's going to be the possible death of ad-based freemium applications. So the GDPR privacy uh, data pr privacy requirements is set for the UK and European residents. So we need to request the consent from those residents. So Google SDK will handle it, but the SDK itself sucks because it's gonna require the user to consent, but the user, if he denies everything and all, all or just consents halfway on the critical permissions, Google will block the ads, but still the SDK itself is going to inform you that the user consented. So he might consent at 100% when you get the ads, or he denied everything and you don't get any ads, and all the work of your app goes to vain. Therefore, we will need additional a community-based solution. Luckily on the Stack Overflow, we will <coughs> also code that one into our application. And I'll show you an example how you can use that to uh, determine if you should partially limit your application because user did, it, did not fully consent to GDPR requirements. Or you can make a conclusion to require pro version purchase, for instance, to release those uh, partial uh, limitations of the app until user fully consents to GDPR and you and Google are able to establish the ad monetization and again for, for the base of your freemium application. So before we start coding, let's take a quick look on the uh, official documentations on Google page, what we're dealing with. Let's start. So this is going to be the key feature and warning and an alarm bell. If you have ads and you're using the AdMob platform, most probably you are as an Android developer, you do have now this GDPR message warning that saying that later this year this will affect all uh, um, AdMob users and all ad related users pretty much. So I'm not going to go this through fully, but you know your AdMob. I just linked this page in, in, the, in the video and in the GDPR you have to create your consent form and uh, the GDPR only affects UK and European residents. So pretty much all you need to worry about is the target of the geographics. You just said GDPR, ETA and UK in here. And select your buttons, functions for it. If you want to add these, do not consent and close. And uh, that's pretty much it. And release. That's it. Okay, the form is ready, but it's not yet shown to the users before we apply the Google's messaging. Let's how do, what do they call it? They call it the UMP SDK these days. So this is another key page for to get the SDK. <clears throat> so let's take a look at this one. Uh, I'll link this into the video and uh, you can come in here. This is going to give you the basics how to run the SDK. So if you're using already Google Ads uh, library, newer than 19.8.0, you will have this implementation in the bundle of that. If, if not, and you want to use this, please then just set up the implementation into your dependencies from here. Now, of course, you need to have your ad IDs set up in the manifest correctly, nothing new in here. And then you can start using these. Let's say you can start building your UMP class to get the user consent. 
So this works right out of the bat, but you just have to implement your own functions in the callbacks of these listeners in here. But I'll code this into a form that it actually works. It's not if you just use it as it is in here, you will end up in the worst case situation where user actually denies his consent is going to be full denial and you lose the ads and this SDK is going to be informing you that user consented and then your freemium app based on ads will not show any ads. So we have to tweak this quite a bit. But okay, I'll link this up to you. And finally, the community based solution. There was there are there is a big hassle right now. I even contacted Google support through AdMob and uh, it's it's fizzling around this topic. So we gotta thank this one guy. I can't find his name now, but uh, he pretty much coded these functions. And this is some complex data set digging up the, the key values, so called TCF strings and uh, making the functions to check if this app user is actually affected, should be affected by the GDPR if you need to react. It's going to dig up all the TCF strings from the shared preferences where Google is storing the SD, UMP SDK is storing the data into TCF strings so we can check if we can show any ads and we can also check if we can show the high value personalized ads. And with these three functions, we can now actually start making our deterministic application if we should limit or request full con reconsent from the user or uh, uh, request the purchase, for instance, pro version to release any limitations of a consequence of partly or non consent. GDPR response from the user. So let's take an example of an app that we have this now running, how we implemented it, and then we code the examples. Okay, here is the example of finalized app, which is fully running the, uh, the GDPR UMP consent SDK, and we have implemented also the community based solution to uh, determine if the user fully consented or if he did not fully consent and our app based on ad monetization is still limited so we are we have to run this now in a limited mode so pretty much this is service based application which is constantly testing back end functions receiving data from the back end as an infinite service so we are now limited into a maximum time span of five minutes and it will auto stop it is not infinite anymore until user either consents fully into this complex gdpr requirements and uh, or he makes the the pro purchase which is gonna be neglect it doesn't matter if you have the pro version we disable the ads and uh, it's not going to require the gdpr related user sensitive user permissions anymore which the google S admob pretty much does to run so let's say we would consent instead of purchasing the pro we will get rid of the uh, the gdpr prompt and we get the ads live again so this is either way now this is the ultimate state we want to end up purchase or comply to full GDPR that's it this is going to be a violent approach to all customers but that's where we are that's where the mobile de developers will be at this point we have to do it that's it <laughs>